Do you think... we'll be able to break the seal? We can worry about him later. For now, we need to take the Dragon Orb. No! He's coming with us! It's huge! How are we gonna get him out? What if we use that? Is that...? The water mirror. Silmaria told me about it. With this mirror, you can talk to people far away and transport things you put in it. So, if we were to jump in, we could all go back to Midgard. Then let's go! What are you doing here? Stand down. I'm not here to fight. I need your help. Nobody cares what you need. Even to save Silmeria? Odin wasn't the only one Lazard took with him. He has Silmeria as well. We're not fools. You can't trick us that easily. What? Didn't you see it for yourselves? Well, we were a little busy at the time. But you must have seen Lazard use a divine technique against Odin. <sighs> it is a magic which cannot naturally be used by humans, unless they have the necessary knowledge and power. The knowledge in the Philosopher's Stone, and the power of Silmaria. Lazard has created a new world outside of Yggdrasil, and fled there. A new world? The king... is seeking to transcend this mortal coil by creating a closed timeline. A new world tree stemming from neither the heavens, the underworld, nor the world of mortals. In other words, independence from the gods. So it's true. They did it. They completed their research into Pan. Yes. He's probably figured out the Sovereign's right as well. We'll have our hands full. Hey, are you thinking about going? Why wouldn't I? I don't care what happens to Odin, but I can't let that madman run wild. Agreed. Release Brahms from his prison, and return the Dragon Orb. Those are our conditions. Humans negotiating with gods? Never! Let me put you out of your misery.